Well, this is the new normal, guys. We got to hold the camera. Got to take our temperature before we go to work and class as classes start. So, see how I had the logo on it, too? Hold on, y'all. Oh, I got to turn it off. There we go. Look at this. Have the good old logo. Oh, my bad, y'all. Well, have the good old logo on it. Good morning, good morning. It's like 8.45. I got to finish getting dressed. First day of training today. First day of in-person training, that is. Uh, we had a little training online. I already showed y'all on Saturday. But, yeah. Um, I need some water. I might get a piece of toast before I leave. I don't know. I'm running a little behind time. I was a little lazy this morning. It don't matter. See, see how it goes today. See how much I can record as well. Oh, yeah. Got some regular comfortable joints on today. I'm gonna be in the middle of training, so. I wanna have my feet comfortable. Is this kid downstairs yet? Let us see. Nope. Good morning. He's not downstairs yet, so. Oh, oh, hold on. What we say to the people in the morning? Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Yes, sir. On our way to training. Though he wasn't downstairs, but he proved me wrong. He was early and on time today. Oh, it feels good this morning. No heat. That heat be going crazy. And it's going to rain today. It's not gonna be hot. It's gonna be a little humid though. A little live though. Ourselves, we have to take care of it. That's a tough place to be, and it's not lost on me. And you guys are gonna be on the front line. The RDs, the ACs, the ARDs are gonna be on the front line. Hey, I'll get you a. Smiling Sarah, Motivated Molly, Careless Kara, Pretty Princess, Dope Dev, Tame Potato, and I just forgot. Oh, she was crying. Training is complete. Uh, I'll show like, eh, not even. But um, all we did was talk about like how things are gonna go this semester, how people will act, things like that. And then we played a bunch of corny games, but hey, I already knew that was gonna happen because we are notorious for corny games. I got my boss on the vlog. <laughs> I hope she's not too mad at me, but I got her. She was at the front. I was like, this is my opportunity to catch the boss. But I got her on the vlog. Joanne, I said I was going to do it, right? <laughs> but yeah, she's on the vlog finally. Maybe she'll get more comfortable about being on the vlog. Because she's like, she's great, but she's a little, she's a little uptight sometimes. But I'm like, yo, Stefan. Are you watching the vlogs or what? Let me know, my boy. Because you're slacking. I'm telling you to watch them and you're not watching them. Right now, I'm just about to get some food. Then go to the... Oh, that's an exit only. I got to go down the... That is exit only. Oh, yo, open the door. Is that Josh? Josh! Josh! J J why didn't he open the door, bruh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Now I gotta go down this deep ass hill Ooh. <laughs> just to get some food. Let's see what they got today. Got the food going once again, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, so it's like, um, later on I'll be going to 
the other building because I have to work in there. Boss said we got to do something in there. So I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, the day, again, it's over early, so nothing much to do. Actually, it, you guys will see what's coming up. So it's going to be in the video anyway. Well, it's going to be in the title of the video. But yeah, let me get my grub on. I'm hungry. I did not I did not get my toast that I said <laughs> earlier in the video. I wanted to get some toast and my cream cheese, but I didn't get up early enough to do that. I was wasting time. Let me eat this food. I'll see if I can record some when I go to work later on. But if not, I'll be back. YouTube. What's up? Yo, this chair, yo, I'm, all right, here we go. What's good, YouTube? I am in my office. Give y'all a quick look, quick look. You know what I'm saying? Got, you know what I'm saying? Light, it's light. Light, 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 you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Okay, here we go. Let me set y'all back up real quick. Y'all good? Y'all good? All right, cool, hold on. Y'all may be a little tired. Y'all good now. But yeah, um, this part of the video is just going to be talking about me, me talking about me, uh, who I am and what, what I do here at school. My name is Cesar Mejia. I'm 20 years old um, and I'm from Harlem, New York. We from Manhattan, my people. And... If you haven't figured it out yet, I go to Alfred State College, which is a state school in like Western New York. <clears throat> My major is sports management and yeah, that's the start, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna talk about uh, my position and why I'm here so early. My current position is assistant resident director. Woo! <laughs> That's fire right there. I never thought I would hear myself saying that. I am an assistant resident director. Um, so if you don't know or are not familiar with college, um, school, uh, they usually have something called an RA, a resident assistant, which is basically like a supervisor, like basically just to dumb it down into something very simple, it's basically like the supervisor of the building slash your floor. Um, for example, in my in in our school, uh, we have resident assistants for every floor, and it depends what kind of building you're in. In my kind of building, which is a corridor, um, you have two sides to the building, and then there are two RAs in on each side on each wing. And basically, what we do is we supervise the 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 floors and the building make sure everything is good make sure nothing is going on that they shouldn't be doing uh when it comes to like nighttime and stuff we sit in our office and we check people in uh we make them swipe their id cards make sure they're from the building and that's uh we do more but that that that's like some behind the scenes stuff that's not really that important but the whole gist of our job is to assist in the building, resident assistant, to make sure everybody's doing good, everybody's following the rules, especially now during these kind of times, we'll have to be a lot more vigilant on what people do. And there are different ranks, just like a normal job. You have, when you first start, you're an entry level, you know, employee, right? And for this job, uh, they're called track one, track two, HRA, which is Head Resident Assistant, and Assistant Resident Director, which is your boy right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And yeah, um, I got hired freshman year, uh, spring semester, which not, uh, which is people would say uncommon, but like if you got good grades and you show that you're you know responsible and things of that nature, you could get hired. I finished my first semester with a really good GPA and you know, I got the job, you know what I'm saying? And there was a story that I almost didn't get hired, but something happened or whatever. <clears throat> my bad, excuse me, y'all. 
something happened and I got hired. So I'm like, all right, cool, you know what I'm saying? So I got hired as a track one entry level, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the starting experience was a little scary, but the building that I got put in was, a, was I pray every day and I say thank you that I got an easy building. Why? Because not that many things happen in this building. So pe people might say, well, then you don't get a chance to do your job. Well, that's the thing. W when you become a resident assistant, you want people just to follow directions and not have to make you do your job. That's the whole point. You want everybody to be comfortable where they're living. Everybody is following the rules and things of that nature. I wrote this down so I don't forget nothing. Um, that, that's why I probably keep looking over there. But yeah, that's I, I got put in a very good building. We have 13 dorm buildings on campus. The last time I even heard, I, I don't really count, but I just go by ear. We have 13 and I've been in one the entire time I've been here, this one. And I have, and I'm extremely proud of myself that I'm able to call myself an assistant resident director because I'm, I'm basically the assistant manager. Like if you look at it like regular job, I'm the assistant manager right now. I'm making sure everything's good or my staff is good. Making sure my office is clean. You, you hear me saying my, right? Is my coach. Yes, sir. Nah, yeah. Hold on. Today's Tuesday. Is it? No, today's Wednesday. Sorry, I was gonna hit you with the LeBron. It's taco dude. I'm joking. But yeah, um extremely proud of myself. Uh just proud of the growth that I've uh, been doing here. There's been talks. I I've been talking with my um we're gonna try to get this one take. Hopefully I don't gotta do no editing. But there's been talks about me becoming the president of the sports business club. That's the club that is tied, like, prob I, I, I want to say directly with the sports management students. And we, um, one, uh, one of the members left the school, the president graduated. I want to say graduated. Um, I don't remember. It's been so long. It's been like four months. Since I've had, uh, since I've been in a meeting, but yeah, we had so much stuff planned last semester. We had a home run derby going. We were gonna go to a hockey game. We were probably gonna do something else, but COVID said nope, no sir. But yeah, um, other than that, oh, I, I was also hired to work with the athletics with all of the athletics of the school. I was gonna be working. Because in my program, there is a class called field experience, which basically, hence the name, you get experience right in the field, working with the sports organizations. And uh, I did really good at, uh, at, all right, we back. I was stumbling over my words, but we good. As I was saying, the field experience class, I did very good at it. And the director of the class saw that and he said, Hey, you know, good job at everything you do. I really appreciate. I think you got a little tilted backwards. Here we go. I appreciate you doing so well at your job, uh, at your at the class. And do you want to come aboard the team next semester? And basically, until I leave the school. And I was like, of course. Why, why not? You know what I'm saying? Get more experience. Get paid. Get some little, some little bread in the pockets. Because you know it's college. You stay broke. Broke. <laughs> broke forever. Nah, but yeah. Um. Yeah, I was I was going to do that and then just recently I got word from my boss, from my boss um <clears throat> from my boss here that's because she is a graduate of the sports management program from the school, which is perfect. We we be, we just act like we we knew each other for a long time. She told me that uh sports are canceled for this semester. So, tier, tier, three tiers, four tiers, you know what I'm saying? Four tiers to that. I can't work. No sports. Whack, whack, whack. Real whack. But, you know, that I kind of thought of it as a blessing in disguise. Why? Because I can focus on being the best assistant resident director that I can be and also stay on top of my classes, even though... I'm always on top of my classes. 3.6 GPA. Don't ever forget it. Pow. 
You know what I'm saying? Light shit, light shit. You know what I'm saying? Chill, my mom is watching. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> All of my. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then I also had a job working at the fitness center. We have two. One all the way up the hill in the last video i showed you guys the one that's all the way up the hill and then there's one all the way down the hill that's more that that looks more like a modern gym like a planet fit, fitness like that um and you could work either or depending whatever yeah i also work there too and gyms are closed new york state order so that's another job i'm down and out from so i am unemployed officially <laughs> Nah, but I don't, uh, those two jobs are now, no jobs now. But you know, again, uh, we we move on, we become better, we become great. You know what I'm saying? We don't stop what we're doing. Somebody moving in. Hi, internet, hi boss. I'm making a vlog, you wanna come? <laughs> I'm explaining. My job, no, okay. I'm right here. Hi. <laughs> oh, she's coming. Um, yeah, so I'm out of two jobs. Let's see if she, let's see if she wants to come on the vlog. Hold on. Okay, she's, hold on, she's coming in. <laughs> you have a gift for me? Okay, so for me to accept the gift, you have to come on my vlog. No. Oh, okay. I'll take the gift? gift. Oh yeah. Damn! You ain't have to do me like that. Oh, yes. It better fit. Cause I have a I, big I face. I don't know. We just, I just got them and I distributed it to uh, Schultz like a bear to drop it off. Okay. Oh, it looks. This. Oh, there's two of them in there. Oh, that's so cool. Yo. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you. Josh gets one, and. You gotta give one to Brandon. I don't have one for Nate. Whenever he comes. And then there's this. You gotta give it up to him. Ooh, good. I like it. Thank you. And there is also a refillable pump. I need you to just put this on the window, just keep it on the window. The one that's right next to the office? Correct, right. Now. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we back. Had to talk with her for a few seconds. Yo, we got some logo face mask. Like we, we, we got face masks when we got here, but they didn't have any logos. And we were like, cause you, you saw earlier in the video, the thermometer had the logo, but then the face masks were plain as hell. And I was like, what? That's trash. But now our dreams have been fulfilled. I have to give this to my coworker and this one to 212. Okay, I have to remember that, 212. Wrote it down, you know what I'm saying? Where was I? Oh, the jobs. Yeah, I'm out of jobs. Well, I'm not out of jobs, but those two jobs. Um, I was going to quit doing the gym job because I needed to have office hours. I needed to be in here. And then also, they were gonna be, I was going to be working a lot of games. So I was going to quit the gym job and just have this and working games. But, you know, um, yeah, now there's nothing. Again... It's all right. We move on from this. Uh, that's basically it. Um, what I want to do with my degree is clearly work in the sports field, but I'm even right now. I'm still not sure yet. Uh, I like being involved during the games when they happen on game day, and of course pre prepping for it, whether it's a day before or, or a couple days before. I just like to be hands on. I I don't really like sitting doing nothing and just watching. I like being hands-on and working. That's just who I am. And so I will, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find something that fits me in the sports field 100%. Guys, thank you for tuning in once again. Appreciate all of the support as always. You, like, you, you guys are the ones motivating me to keep going. Who, whoever's watching, appreciate y'all. And yeah, uh, next episode. Well, the, well, this uh, the week is kind of. I'm not gonna say over, but we don't have in person training anymore. So I'm gonna be in my dorms, in my dorm for the 
majority of the time. So I'll see what I could come up with. I have to brainstorm because not, there's not going to really be much to do. But yeah, once again, appreciate all who watch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time.